Welcome back for another video. So in today's video, it's gonna be a follow-up on a video I posted a month ago that I'll post up in there. It's regards to a giant albino catfish that I got. So when I, at the time when I got it, I had a good amount of fish in my aquaponics system. So therefore my nitrates were high and right now since water is expensive, I haven't done a water change on my pond. So basically during that time that I had the catfish, which is in there, which I'll show you in a minute, I moved, I set a, I worked on this tank and set it up and I moved a fair amount of fish from my pond into here. There's about 27 fish in here, a mixture of koi and goldfish. So a good combination in here and one good size pleco, but I moved them from my pond into here just to reduce the amount of nitrates in my system. Since as I mentioned, water is pricey and I don't want to change as much water. So the less fish I have in my pond, the less water I need to change and the less nitrates that build up. So here's the catfish. He's been in this tank for about a month now which is 330 gallons, which is the same size as the pond he originally came from, just deeper. So now I'm gonna take him or her, whatever it is, out of here and stick it in my pond, which is over there. So first I gotta catch it, put it in here, and then let it float for a little bit. Because the temperatures are probably different, I'll check that in a minute. Otherwise, it's probably gonna be tough to catch. This catfish, They, when they get spooked, they kinda hit all sides of the tank. So we'll see how that goes. Otherwise, there's that guy. He's about, he's more than two feet, probably like 27 inches. When I stick it in here, we can measure. I can measure exactly, but he's a good size. So let's get to that. fish. the same temperature. It ain't huge. Those fillets. Dinner? Mm-hmm. That dorsal fin. So here is the massive catfish. It is literally over two feet since it doesn't fit in this container properly. So I'd say maybe 26 inches. Let's measure there. So yeah, it's about 27 inches. Which is a good size, maybe 28. 
You can see it barely fits in that tub. Otherwise, the water temperatures are pretty much the same. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna add a little bit of water from the pond into here in a period of time. Just let it to acclimate to the, the chemistry of the pond and that will get it better. But you can just see how big that guy is. Well, that about sums up this video. So if you do have any questions or comments, remember to leave those below and I'll get to this when I can. Otherwise, I appreciate the support and thank you for watching.